All right, knife tearless time. Knife tearless time. Don't comment about my hair. <laughs> I haven't gotten a haircut in a minute, so chill out. Let's get right into it. All right, the bayonet. You want to cap A? Oh! The bayonet. I love the bayonet. It is my personal favorite knife in CS:GO. It's got the coolest pullout, but it could be better. I think it has the coolest pullout as default in spec. I love how the blade looks. I wish it was a little bit wider and if the handle was black. Those two changes, this knife would be fucking perfect. I love it though. It's my favorite knife in the game. And uh, I'm gonna put it in S tier. Pretty simple. All right, uh, the Bowie knife. Why don't you come down here so I can suck your cop, pretty boy? Before that left hand was added, this was a C tier knife. Now that it has a left hand, it's a B tier knife. Well above average. The pullout's cool, the inspect is cool, the, the fucking noises it makes are cool. Really good knife, highly recommend it. This knife has to, I, I, I already said it, this knife is a B tier knife. Um, yeah, moving on. The butterfly knife. One of the best knives in CS. The handle, the handle changing with the finishes, like, like, with every finish, not just, like, uh, Crimson Web and Ultraviolet. And knives that do that get double points. So, like, cool pullout, cool rare pullout, three different inspects, and they're all sick. This knife is near perfect. I'm going to put it in A tier simply because, if you look on top here, I do own Valorant. And I have the Butterfly Knife in Valorant because my friend bought it and they gave me his account. And... It's hard to get kills. Like I just want to pull it out every two seconds. The the TikTok ADHD brain rot has affected me so much that I love just pulling it out and twirling it. And if I ran this knife, I would never get kills. Because of my fucking monkey brain, I'm going with A tier. Next up, we have the classic knife. Out of my way, son! Door stuck! Door stuck! Please! This knife is like top three most underrated knives in cs cool pull out cool inspect uh, cool rare inspect only knife to have an idle animation the the pattern on the edge of the blade that you can see more when it's battle scarred so clean on this knife it's also like really exclusive it's only in the cs20 case i've actually unboxed this knife before I think this is a B tier knife. Below or above the Bowie, I think I'm gonna put it below, but this knife is sick. I love this knife. All right, the, the default knives. I wanted to put these in here and I think they're both D tier knives. And I give the edge to the CT one, but the T one still isn't that bad. They're really not bad knives, just the cosmetic ones are just so much better. Respectable knives. All right, next we have the Falchion knife. This knife is one of the more underrated knives. Gets too much hate. Uh, dude, the handle changing with the finishes. Double points, triple points because it looks so good. Probably the best rare inspect in the entire game. I love the pullout. Uh, this knife, cool knife. Underrated. I'm going to put it in C tier. I think that's respectable for it. All right. Flip knife. I'm coming out of the closet. When I first started getting into CS... And I looked at the knives. The flip knife was the first knife I ever really wanted. And that's for two reasons. One, I love how the blade and the handle look. Like, like top tier blade, top tier handle all together. And also the second reason is because this is like this is the Kenny S knife. This is the knife he used when he when he knifed Guardian, when he had the flick on Zipnix and Inferno. This was the knife he used, and it's a sick knife, iconic, the Kenny S knife. This knife gets too much hate. Not nice, it's subpar. What the fuck did I just hear? It's just not cool, dude. It's just not cool. Like, there's nothing about it that has, like, any saving f***ing grace. What? Maybe, maybe D tier. Let's put it in D tier. Because let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put it in D tier. What do you put it in D tier? What? That's crazy. Crazy placement. I think it's A tier. Below the butterfly knife, but definitely A tier. The gut knife. You all hands. Oh. 
The gut knife is the worst knife in CSGO. The worst knife in Counter-Strike. I don't care what anyone says. I don't I don't want to hear Shadow Daggers this, Fauci and that, Navaha this. No, the gut knife is the worst knife in CS. The handle sucks. The blade sucks. The little, like, the, the, at the edge of the, the, the top part of the blade, the little part that curves out, that's fucking stupid. This knife is ugly. I hate it. Only good thing about it, there's two good things about it. One, the pullout, which looks better on the Huntsman knife. And two, that you can sell it and get yourself something else. If you get a good finish on it, you can sell it to get a better knife. If you get a bad finish on it, you can sell it to get another gun skin. If you don't think this is the worst knife in CS, you are not lying to me, you are lying to yourself. This knife sucks, F tier. I would rather have the default knives if I couldn't sell it. The Huntsman knife. Yeah. Stick around. This knife is fucking beautiful. One of the most aesthetically pleasing knives. I love the, 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 the sleek black handle, the blade. I love how it looks. The pullout, which I mentioned before, looks so much better on this knife than the gut knife. It doesn't need a rare inspect. It doesn't need a rare pullout. It just looks good. Finishes look good on it. Just one downside, and that's like the little like space in between the finger and the handle on the inspect. Besides that, this knife is so good. And it's up. I would I, I would put it above the flip knife, but below the butterfly knife. Very good knife. I love this knife. All right, you know what time it is? A karambit. An original karambit. They were utilitarian knives, not necessarily. Karambit? There's, there's, not, there's not much I can really add to this. Everything that can be said about it has been said. The knife is like near perfect. Cool pull out, cool inspect. The handle is perfect. Two knives in this game have perfect handles. Karambit's one of them. It's just so visually pleasing. A tier, not S tier, A tier. I think I'd take the butterfly knife over it, but it's still a very, very good knife. Definitely top five knives. This knife is a well-earned top five. N enough said. Most recent knife added to CS, the Kukri knife. Now, I actually really like the Kukri knife. It's not because Far Cry 4 is in, is in my uh, top five games of all time. I just think the knife looks good. The, the, ins uh, the pullout and the red pullout are sick. The inspect is sick. I, I think the knife looks, a I think it looks a bit like toyish because of how, uh, how much smaller it is. And it's a new knife, so it doesn't have the finishes yet, the Doppler finishes. It still looks really good with the finishes you can get on it. It's a very good looking knife. I think compared to the other ones though, this is probably in the realm of C tier. I would put it above the Falchion, but there's one thing that makes, it, that makes me put it below, and it's the stabbing animation. The right click looks so bad. Valve, please fix it. If they fix it, it, go, it goes up to the Falchion, maybe B tier. Not sure yet, because I'm not done with the tier list. The M9 Bayonet. Oh! Boom! Boom! It's ugly as fuck! Now, I'm gonna gas this knife up, and then where you see where I place it, you're probably gonna wanna kill me. This is probably the best looking knife in the game. Like, just purely aesthetically speaking, this is probably the best looking knife in CS. The blade is beautiful. The handle is the other handle that is perfect. It's a perfect handle. It doesn't need a rare inspect. It doesn't need a rare pullout. You see, what you see is what you get. This knife is amazing. Objectively speaking, it is better than the bayonet. Objectively speaking. Subjectively speaking, I like the bayonet more. And I don't think this knife is S tier. I think it is at the top of A tier. I would take this over a butterfly knife and a karambit. Top five knives, definitely. I love the M9 bayonet. I just don't love it as much as other people. The Navajo knife. Track Navajo vanilla. It's Star Trek vanilla. It's Star Trek vanilla. I I I couldn't have gotten I couldn't have gotten something worse. Star Trek vanilla. I couldn't have gotten something worse. Oh my god! The fucking the fucking op is worth more. Did I? I Dude, you Andy just got ass unbox a knife. What the fuck? Dude, how unlucky is this? Sad track vanilla dog dude, shit, dude. Andy, Andy, it's still a knife. Shut the yeah. fuck up. <laughs> this knife gets too much hate. Now, you're not going to see me place this really high. Believe me. I, I can acknowledge its flaws. But this knife doesn't deserve the hate. This was the first ever knife I unboxed, as you saw. This is my first ever knife I ever unboxed. The knife isn't really that bad. Yeah, the blade's small, but that's not really the worst part. I'd say the worst part about it is the handle. It works with the vanilla skin. 
it doesn't work with too many other of the finishes it has. If it ch if that uh, handle changed with finishes like the Shadow Daggers or the Falchion or the Butterfly Knife did, this knife would be so much higher and it'd probably get purchased more. But I acknowledge this nice flaws. Yeah, but think of it, it has a cool pullout. Like I like the pullout. Like the I like the pullout. The pullout looks cool. This knife also holds a special place in my heart because it was the first knife I unboxed. My buddy unboxed one as the first knife. I never let him not hear it. I and then I unboxed it and it humbled my ass. And I learned to love the Navaha knife. Overhated knife. C tier, but the bottom of C tier. From the Navaha to the Nomad knife. We're about to see Shaquille O'Neal hold this massive Wesson knife we made him. Talk about a knife that gets too much hate with the Navajo. And now we're talking about a knife that gets too much love with the Nomad. This is probably the most, the single most overrated knife in CS. Hands down. It, do, it doesn't have Doppler finishes. I don't like the handle. I don't like the blade. The, the the rare pullout is cool. I really like the rare pullout. I don't like the rare inspect. I really don't. This knife is only priced so high because Simple used it in the major ones. If that didn't happen, this knife would not be as expensive as it, as it is. Overrated as hell. I would absolutely put it in C tier though. Above the Navaha, but I would take a Kukri knife over the Nomad knife. Paracord knife. I think that the grip looks really creepy. Cool. Now there's two knives in CS that have a Rook logo on it. And if you look on my channel like on I love the Rook. It's my favorite chess piece. I grew up playing chess. There are two knives that have the Rook logo, Shadow Daggers, and the Paracord Knife. Now when it comes to good things to say about the Paracord Knife, the Rook logo and the Rare Pullout. That's kind of where it ends. As far as bad things go, I don't like the finishes. I don't like the grip. I really don't like the grip. I don't like the basic inspect. The rare inspect is somehow worse than the basic inspect. I don't like how the knife is shaped. There's just not really many good things to say about this knife. This knife is a D tier knife in my opinion. This knife sucks. I would take a Navajo knife over a Paracord. The Shadow Daggers. Lightly shitted daggers. I don't even know if you can call those lightly. Those are just shitted. <laughs> Probably the single most underrated knife in CS. I got me a Phase 4 pair of Doppler Shadow Daggers. They are probably my favorite CS purchase. And I've purchased some shit. I was looking at knives to buy when I sold those two. Uh, the, the Ursus Damascus Steel and my Overtake gloves. And I saw these and I was, I was almost completely sold on them. And when I inspected them and I saw that Rook logo, I bought it right then and there. Really good looking knives. Has the Rook logo. The handle changing with finishes, so clean. The inspect is nice. The noises they make, there's no more jiggle of the crosshair bug. Everything about this knife is it it doesn't get enough praise. This is a B-tier knife, and I wish more people would recognize how good these knives are. Placement-wise, I'm gonna put it at the top for now. I think I would take these over a Bowie knife and over a classic knife. Very underrated knife. Wish you would get more praise. The skeleton knife. Rattle me bones! I think uh, one of my favorite knives in all of CSGO. And there, there's so many good things to say. The knife looks sick. I like the wrapping on the handle. The inspect is sick. The rare inspect is even better. Pullout's okay, but the rare pullout is probably the best rare pullout in the entire game. This knife would be S tier. Would be. There's one fatal flaw in the skeleton knife, and it's it doesn't have marble fade, Doppler, gamma Doppler finishes. If it had them, this knife would be S tier. Since it doesn't, I'm going to put it in A tier. The way I'm thinking about it is which knife would I rather have? Ignoring price and selling points, like if like if you could have if you could have the knife, ignoring the price. And I think I think I would put this below the Karambit. I think I would take Karambit Butterfly M9 over this though. The stiletto knife. One beautiful knife. I love the needle. I love the needle. I like the, how the blade looks. One of the few knives where not having a black handle actually makes it better. The inspect is clean. You're, it looks like you're inspecting a piece of art. The rare inspect is really good. I, I like you're flipping it. The pullout is so good. I love the fucking pullout. This knife is S tier. I would take I would take this over M9, Butterfly, Karambit. Not above the bayonet. Bayonet's my favorite knife in the game. I love the stiletto knife. Talk about things that aren't a piece of art. Survival knife. 
and really fresh blood like that is so rich in minerals, vitamins, energy, everything you need. Fun fact, I unboxed one two days ago. Fractured is also too oh far nice. It's got like what? Nomad, Paracord, Navaha, and... Oh, oh! oh no, 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 no! As you can tell by my reaction, I wasn't too thrilled. When it comes to the survival knife, the knife, I don't really like it. I don't really like how it looks. The rare inspect is worse than the basic inspect. The rare pullout is sick, but like, that's the only really good thing about it. it. Doesn't have good finishes. I think this is a D tier knife. The biggest question is, do I put it above or below the paracord? I think I'd rather take a paracord knife. I'm not a big survival knife fan. I, I'm really not. Next up is the Karambit Light, the Talon knife. <laughs> <laughs> I think like you do with the bayonets, you have to really do a comparison to the Karambit. And I think the Talon knife, if you can't own a Karambit, if you can't afford one, Talon knife is not a bad alternative. The blade is bigger, the price is cheaper, and the, the inspect is cooler, but the pullout is worse, the handle is worse, and the blade, I, despite the blade being bigger, I like how the blade of the Karambit looks more. Love the rare inspect. Finishes still look good on it. B tier, probably at the top of B tier. I think I'd take it over the Shadow Daggers. Not really much more to say, just a really solid knife. The Ursus. Guess the skin in 60 seconds. Talk about underrated, underappreciated, underspoken about knives. This knife is, this knife deserves a bit more attention. It's got good finishes, a good rare pullout, one of the best rare inspects. I love the noises it makes with, for, the, for the rare inspect when you're doing the fucking knuckle roll with it. I kind of like the whole box cutter look. Like it reminds me of a box cutter and I kind of, I really like it. Biggest downside is probably the green handle. And if you don't like the, the shape of the blade, but this knife is really good. This is B tier. Uh, I think I would take it over the Bowie knife. I think I'd take a nurse over the Bowie. So yeah, that's my tier list. Leave a comment about which knife you think is perfectly placed, about which knife you think is placed in the worst spot. Like maybe you think the gut knife is actually the best knife in the game. To that I'd say, stop lying. Anyway, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next Guess the Skin video. Later.